The way in which we shop, how we think about our working day, our leisure time have all radically changed and some of that change will be long term. The challenge for retailers and landlords is identifying those changes and what they mean for their business models. To understand how these changes are evolving, Collier's Retail Strategy carried out a major research project which spoke to the three corners of the consumer relationship – landlords, occupiers and customers. Well, having questioned more than 2,000 people across the UK from all demographic slices, it was clear just how much we are still being impacted by the age of lockdown. Across all age groups, when considering where to shop, cleanliness was the most important characteristic people look for when choosing where to shop. So, whilst we may all be thinking about peeling off those keep your distance stickers from the floors and walls, it's a timely reminder that the focus on hygiene that was born out of the pandemic is still with us. However, from a broader consumer perspective and what determines the spending decision, concerns about the cost of living and what we get from the shopping experience understandably dominated the findings. Affordability and customer service scored 13 times higher than considerations such as COVID measures, diversity and sustainability or climate change. Changes in the way in which we work and where we work are also reshaping consumer patterns and behaviours. The shopping and eating out that people do whilst around their place of work has always been a major driver of spend. So the increase in working from home is of course reshaping that. On the face of it, some of the stats from the research are quite startling. For example, 40% of people we spoke to who work in London are in their place of work less often. But if you drill down deeper, that doesn't necessarily mean a 40% reduction in spend. When people are in London, they are shopping more intensively and the average transaction value is higher than before the pandemic. In May, we also questioned landlords, investors, retailers and F&B operators throughout Collier's extensive client and contact database. Business confidence is pretty strong. Just over 50% of occupiers expect a return to 2019 performance levels within 12 months. On the face of it, that might be the classic class half full stat, but it certainly is more positive than you might have imagined. When landlords were asked about their capex priorities over the next five years, sustainability was recognised as a key area of focus. And, perhaps not surprisingly, driving energy efficiency was the most popular initiative. Right now, we're clearly in a transitional period and the consumer picture is still evolving. The key takeaways from this research are around value, service and cleanliness. What's clear about the way in which data is applied to retail property strategy is that the old toolkit of just footfall, dwell time and catchment analysis are inadequate for the sector we face today. Strategy for both property providers and those who occupy it needs to be based on a much more comprehensive approach. It has to bring together multiple data sets and expert analysis and the market knowledge of agency teams who see at first hand what is happening in the market 